Welcome to this spreadsheet for a ship's trim and stability calculation, developed by the NavalArt.com. This spreadsheet can be used to calculate the floating condition draft, trim and stability of a vessel or a barge as per the IMO stability requirements. It provides as output the floating condition hydrostatics and evaluates the floating condition against the IMO stability criteria by generating the writing arm curve. It is to be noted that this spreadsheet doesn't generate the hydrostatic properties and cross curves of the vessel by itself, and the zero trim hydrostatics and cross curves are required as an input. It is assumed that the spreadsheet will be used for small trim ranges, plus slash minus two degrees. Let's take a look at the spreadsheet in detail. This is the welcome sheet which can be used to navigate through the spreadsheet. To start a new vessel, we click on the button Start a new vessel. The spreadsheet asks for a vessel name, which is provided by user. The next step is to input the principal particulars of the vessel. This includes the dimensions, sign convention, lightship weight, projected wind areas, and bilge keel data. We should save it before going back to main menu. The third step is to input the hydrostatic properties for the zero trim slash zero heel condition. In this worksheet, we can see that the various hydrostatic properties have been listed against the draft of the vessel. This table can be found in the trim and stability booklet of the vessel. The user needs to input these properties in the format provided. Once these properties are input, the user needs to save it. The fourth step is to input the cross curves data. The user is asked to input the angles at which he wants to input the cross curves data. After this the user needs to input the data in the cross curves table. This can also be obtained from the trim and stability booklet of the vessel. Fifth step is to input the locations of down flooding points. This is done through this worksheet by entering the location coordinates and the type of down flooding point. This is to be provided in the same sign convention as stated in principal particulars sheet. The sixth step is the tank properties. In this worksheet, the user should define the tanks of the vessel. The type of tank can be selected, and the capacity and geometry details are to be provided. If the detailed tank characteristics are available, the user can input the tank table for each tank individually by selecting input slash edit tank table. These properties include the volume, COG and FSM of the tank. If the data is not available, then the tank's properties are generated by the software by assuming that the tank volume and VCG is linearly varying with height. This gives approximate results, but is useful in case of vessels with mostly rectangular tanks, like barges. Once all above inputs have been provided, the worksheet is ready to be used for creating a loading condition. We give a name to the loading condition. This should be a unique name. This generates a loading condition worksheet with the details of lightship keyed in. The tanks are also listed, and user can input the filling level in the tanks. Any additional items like deck cargo or provisions can also be added. Once the loading condition is created and saved, the user should click solve loading condition to get the floating hydrostatics of the vessel. This will calculate and report the floating condition draft trim and other hydrostatic properties. Next is stability evaluation for which the user needs to click the button check stability. Upon clicking this button, the user is asked the IMO criteria applicable, whether the IMO general criteria for all ships is to be applied, or the IMO criteria for barges is to be applied. If the vessel is a regular sea-going ship, the first is to be selected. If the vessel is a barge, the second is to be selected. Next the software generates the writing arm curve and evaluates all the IMO stability criteria and checks it against the rule requirements. It also checks the IMO wind criteria for the loading condition. In a similar way other loading conditions of the vessel can be generated and evaluated. This application can be of good use in actual vessel operations to decide the transit condition of the vessel and evaluate its stability. 
Entering the input data of the vessel is a one-time exercise, after which the application can be saved and used every time by creating a new loading condition. That was about shipload, the application for trim and stability evaluation developed by the NavalArc.com. Please visit the website to know more about it, and please provide us your valuable feedback. Thank you very much.